Psalm 42. To the chief musician, a masculine, which means instruction, for the sons of Korah. And First Chronicles 6, 33, not only were the, they were the Levite tribe, but they were also in charge of the singers. As the heart type of deer panteth after the water books, thirsty, wants a drink, cool brook. So panteth my soul after thee, O God. And this psalm is about the psalmist's soul. Seeking God as, as an animal would go to get a drink of water in need of thirst. Lord, my soul seeks after you. My soul thirsts for God. For the living God, not just any God. The living God. Small G-O-D-S are dead. They're stone, they're metal, they're plastic, they're wood, they're dead. But we serve the living God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. When shall I come and appear before God? When am I going to come and have fellowship with God? My soul is thirsting for God and I'm not going to be a couch potato servant. I want to come to God. Where is God going to meet me? My tears have been my meat day and night. He's fasting. He's crying. He's reaching out for God. While they continually say unto me, people around him, where is thy God? Where is your God going to help you? Where is he? Look at you. Where is your God? Come, he hasn't helped you. Some God you got. When I remember these things, I pour out my soul in me. Talking to himself. Talking to yourself can be healthy. But seek counsels of others too. For I have gone with the multitude, a great mass of people, I went with them to the house of God. Well, there we go. Where can I find God? I went with a group of people that went to the temple, went to the house of God. And with the voice of joy and praise, he went to the house of God joyful, praising God with a multitude, a group of people that kept holy day. Now, you see where America drops the Y and puts an I for me. And our holiday I days are all about me and how great I can feast, I can get drunk, I can picnic, I can get a day off, I can get a day off with pay, me, 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 me. Where God, the holy day, puts a Y for God, you, and not me. He said, I got with a group of people that obeyed the law. Holy day. If it's a holy day to go to the temple, there are three times in the law a year that the men were to go before the Lord. This this psalm is found of men that kept the law. We're going to the temple because it's the holy day today, or maybe it's just the Sabbath day. Is he going to the temple? I'm going to. And he went in praise and joy. Why art thou cast down, O my soul? Why art thou disquieted in me? His soul is upset. Hope, it, hope thou in God, soul. Guy's having trouble with his soul. And he's speaking to his soul, so put your hope in God. For I shall yet praise him, God, for the help of his countenance. God's helping me. Why is my soul upset? And I can relate to this psalm, and I think this psalm finally answers. I'm right with God. Except for the fact is I'm a sinner. I sin against God. I 
want to do what God would have me to do. And I want to do it faithfully. My soul, is I believe, is right with God. If I were to die today, I'd be absent from the body and present with the Lord. But in my flesh, I am desiring a need for a help me. And I am counterwise to what the psalm is writing about. Hey, my soul, there's something wrong with the inner me. With me, there's nothing wrong with the inner me. I'm safe, secure, going to heaven in the joy of the Lord. But I'm lacking. And he is lacking through his soul. And he's going to the house of the Lord. He's praising God. And yet that inner peace of him through is lacking. Oh my God. I bet you probably knew Bibles have OMG. My soul is cast down with me. That is a prayer. God, oh my God, there's something wrong with my soul. My soul is down. My soul is upset. My soul is disturbing. Therefore will I remember thee, God, in the land of Jordan. East, and of the Hermonites, north, and from Mis Misar, west. And he doesn't mention south. Jordan's to the east, Mount Hermon's to the north, and Misar is toward the west in the, in the Philistine area. That's the occupation of the land of Israel. I will remember what you, I would assume, what you've done to the land of Israel. You gave the Jews their land. There's something wrong with his psalmist soul. And yet everything else is, is right, the spirit in the flesh. Deep calls unto deep at the noise of thy water spouts. And all thy waves... And thy bills are going over me. I'm drowning. Yet the Lord will command his loving kindness in the daytime. And in the night his song shall be with me. Something has not broken this this person's heart and has broken his soul, the heart. For with the heart man believes unto righteousness. Confession man, the heart that believes in the salvation, the heart that reaches out to God. And I'm not talking about the organ that pumps blood. The inner part of this man in relationship with God is something happened. But God is going to take care of me. I was thrilled in praise to go before God. He has a conviction. And my prayer unto the God of my life. Now he's proclaimed God is his life. Something has wounded the soul. And this has happened to Christians. God has not been all they expected God to be and they fall away. Trials and tribulations and troubles have come and God was not able enough. And you can't lose your soul as a born-again Bible-believing Christian. You can't lose the salvation that God's given you through Jesus. But you can be disappointed. Your soul can be... And I would assume that God is reaching out trying to convict this man in his soul. As he reaches out to God. I will say unto God my rock. Paul says that's Jesus. Why hast thou forgotten me? Oh that is the trouble. He is rejoicing in God. He is reaching out to God. God is his hope. God is his rock. But God has forgotten Something in this man's life, God has forgotten. Remember David. 
We don't know if this is David or not. Doesn't say of David. But this man says, God, I'm praying to you and you forgot about me. And you've hurt my soul. And remember, when, when we pray to God, God answers three ways. Yes, no, not now. Why go I mourning because of the oppression of the enemy? And they're the ones saying, where is thy God? We know you have a need. We know you're reaching out to God. We've seen you at, at the tabernacle. We've seen you pray to God. And God ain't answering you, buddy. What's your problem? What's your God's problem? As with a sword in my bones, ouch, my enemies reproach me. He's being attacked, and not by swords, he's being attacked verbally by the enemy. While they say daily, daily, every day, where is thy God? Now, that's got to be working on you. And that's the power of negativity. And there have been husbands and there have been wives that their spouse has just talking negative against. You're worthless. You're terrible. Parents sometimes do their children. You're just a brat. I don't know why we ever had you. You're just rotten. You're spoiled. You're terrible. You're no good. I wish I had somebody else. I'm sorry I've ever... And then you just build upon and you hear that day and night, day and night, day and night, and that works on you. And we had the most stupidest expression, now I'm grown up. In school, we say, sticks and stones may break my bones, but names will never hurt me. That's a bunch of crock. Because I know females who have been married to a man that has nothing but verbally abused them, and I've seen them hurt. And Proverbs talks about that. There are people who are institutionalized because they have been verbally abused. And no one's laid a hand on them. There's been no bruises as far as on the skin. There's been no broken bones. There's been no, no hitting. But verbally. That's the problem with listening to some of this music. Especially rock and roll. I mean... It ain't punching you, but man, what the words are coming out is working on you. Daily, where is thy God? Why art thou cast down, O my soul? So the soul is cast down because of discouragement. Why art thou disquieted in me? Hope thou in God. He's going to answer. He's going to... He'll take care of us. Don't listen to them. For I shall yet praise him, even though God's not answering me. Who is the health of my countenance? That's your facial express. So evidently his face is just down too. And my God. So this is one of them Psalms. Oh, you're just all oh, down in the dump and no one's helping you. Pick up Psalms 42 and read. You're not the only. And that's another thing too. A lot of people think I'm the only one that feels this way. No, you're not. No, you're not. 